we are at the last stage where we are testing this project so if you ask me where have you stored this you know uh, form um, front end and all i have not published anywhere so if you want to enhance what you can do you can enhance this form and you can host it on an s3 bucket or you can put it in an ec2 instance right so i have not done so far so probably after completing this project i will i may show you how to host this one on an s3 bucket right but our idea is to work this project so complete this project so i have entered some dummy entries here so i've just given a name here uh, email address phone password if you see this that is taken in a dotted format so or an encrypted format so we have a submit button here so before hitting submit what you need to do is you need to test check whether this particular url has been replaced with your own api url if that is not the case it will not work so after you know entering that make sure to save this file okay if you are working in the local uh, system make sure to save the file and then click on submit to test whether it is working fine or not so i've just clicked on submit let me let me check okay it says registration failed so let me check what is the mistake that we are doing and come back and then we'll test this again all the codes all the logs so what i did is i went through this cloudwatch logs uh, uh, in the lambda function under monitor you see this view cloudwatch logs right i went through the logs and everything but i found no issues so what i did is i just refreshed this you know particular uh, url and now let's test again so i've entered dummy details the same dummy details here so i've just given a random number and a password let me hit submit and see if it works so tada this works right so the this page says registration successful but previously we saw that registration failed so let's click on okay so our ideal goal is to take this data whatever we enter here and put it into the dynamo db so let's see if we whatever the data that we inputted here is present in the dynamo db table so let me go to my uh, items here the dynamo db table so here and un under items i have uh, you know opened this uh, you know registration table but i see only this uh, you know email that i had entered previously this is a dummy value now let me hit refresh so you see this you you can see the data that we entered i entered test at gmail.com test uh, this is some you know uh, password that i gave and this is the phone number so if you want to enter and if you want to play around with this enter so many names and test you can do that right so next uh, i think this pretty much covers the entire project where we learned so many things but if needed you can go ahead and host this particular site on an ec2 instance or store all the details in an s3 bucket and make it work right it is left to your choice but i am going to take a step back and stop this project right here so i have made another similar project where i have hosted the files like index.html script.js css all those things will be hosted in the s3 bucket and i have enabled cloud front so if you want to make a replica out of it you can you know check out the link in the description for that project and complete this project also all right so that's it for this project i hope you enjoyed learning along with me if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next project